Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. As you can see, I'm sitting here by a lot of garlic plants and I wanna talk about that today because it's harvest time and I wanna share some knowledge with you guys that will help you to harvest the garlic at the right time and to be able to store it for up to a year. Some of our garlic we have grown in our orchard here in the wood chips and um, some of the other garlic we have grown in our no dig garden over there. And I can tell that this garlic is smaller than last year um, and I think it's due to pretty much no rain whatsoever. Um, in, under these wood chips it's still moist but the rain helps to bring in more nutrient um, into the ground, more nutrients into the ground, and, and that way uh, the garlic would grow more. But now it's harvest time, they are smaller, we are a little late. Last year we were two weeks earlier, but you can't say that it's the same time every year, because you want to harvest it when the bottom three leaves are withered. That's the best time, and you have to pull it out and you have to check when it's uh, the best time because if you harvest it too early um, you know then not all the layers of, of uh, skin here are formed around the cloves and all of that um, if you harvest too late the outer layers here have composted too much and here's what you need to know so you can store your garlic the right way and why the garlic that you buy in the store can't be stored like this Right now it's summertime and you want to harvest this usually in the month of July and um, you know when you harvest the garlic it is warm both in the air and in the ground and you know this is these are very small um, garlics here I have the further you come in here because this this is uh, not as composted. The further you come in, the bigger they will get. But like, as I said, they are smaller this year. But they won't get any bigger now. Because right now, with the warm temperatures, both in the air and in the ground, the garlic says it's summer rest. And it'll, it'll remain like this without any growth in the ground, in the summer rest, all the way until fall when the temperatures drop. And then it wants to set roots before winter comes. And then in winter obviously nothing happens, but as soon as the temperature rises again in the spring, the garlic will start growing upward. So what you want to do is you want to trick the garlic into thinking that it is summertime. So you never want to um, cool this garlic clove down. Now all the garlic in the stores, you know, it, they, come, um, they come in the cooling room, then they get put out uh, on the counters. Um, in the store on the shelves where it, so it was cold and warm and, and the garlic messes up completely and you have it um, at home and within a week it starts growing or rottening that's why it doesn't store um, you see what what we do here is we just harvest it let it dry and then we store it at room temperature and if that temperature cycle is never broken if the garlic never reaches 10 degrees or lower in Celsius, then you can trick the garlic into thinking it's summer rest. Um, I don't have to grow, I just have to rest for nine months easily. And that's how we store our garlic. Because our ground is so soft, we can just pull out the garlic um, by hand. We don't need a shovel or anything. And um, I just bundle them up. 10 garlics in each bundle and then I just lay them on the ground. We use um, a rope to um, bundle them up and hang them up to let them air dry. But the temperatures here in our climate very soon will drop and it'll be too cold for this garlic to be hanging out because then it'll be triggered um, through this temperature sensitivity um, that it'll start growing
Now this is again one of these things that just absolutely fascinates me um, with this garlic for example because this system is completely information based um, and information is a non-material um, entity or whatever you call it all of this is based on information if you break this globe that information is lost it's just absolutely fascinating to me um, how these plants um, have that information what it what is information where does information come from what is life uh, where does life come from um, these are just all um, questions that um, that evolution for example leaves completely unanswered with this kind of talking I don't mean to offend people I realize people have different views there um, but I I just want to I'm just thinking loudly and and sharing this um, because you know when I work with all of this life daily um, seats that have all this information stored on it um, I have a little bit of a background with computer science as well and, and, and if you look at it you know it's just it's like a hard drive that has all the information you break the hard drive it doesn't work anymore but um, it's just absolutely fascinating when you look at the laws of nature and the laws of information every any information has a sender Here we have some here we have some really nice garlic now um, they're not that big this year uh, we could have probably watered and we could have also uh, put compost over here but I just like to push the limits and just see how these things do uh, with uh, less work We're gonna harvest this all. Um, and then we have a lot of garlic that we can store. We can store this without dehydration, without um, the refrigerator, without the freezer, just at room temperature, um, and we can sell a whole bunch of it. That's it for today. I will harvest this, I will hang it up to dry. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.